In this video, we will see how the new chamfer toolpath is used to deburr your parts coming off of the machine in the cam workspace inside Fusion 360. In the past, the 2D contour toolpath would be used with the chamfer mill. However, this technique would cause collisions with your tool and the vertical walls. As seen from our simulation, we would have several collisions in this part. Fusion 360 gives us instant visual feedback with red marks in the timeline at the bottom where collisions will occur. Instead of using the 2D contour toolpath, we will use the new chamfer toolpath to deburr the part's edges. We will start by selecting a chamfer mill for our tool, then select the edges that we would like to chamfer. The algorithm will calculate where collisions will occur in the toolpath and avoid them. Notice how the tool stops short before crashing into the vertical walls in this toolpath. This will reduce the time required to create this toolpath, and more importantly, this toolpath would reduce the collisions caused when trying to deburr your parts coming off the machine. Now let's look at a tip I like to use while using the chamfer tool. While making the chamfer toolpath, we can go to the Passes tab and change parameters such as the chamfer width, chamfer tool offset, and chamfer clearance. Now I would like to calculate the optimal tip offset of my tool. In this case, we will want to make an expression to divide the tool diameter by 2 and from that subtract the chamfer width as well as 5 thousandths of an inch. Make sure to add inches because the expressions are calculated by default in metric units. Now we have calculated an appropriate tip offset value to maintain a 5 thou clearance from the top of the tool. If I would like to make this expression the default for my tip offset, I can right click and select Make Default. This workflow can be used for any expression in Fusion 360 CAM. Now start precision deburring your parts on the machine. This will reduce the chances of your operators cutting their hands on sharp edges that are traditionally left on parts coming off the machine. 